Hey, what's up guys? I've been curious about uh, OnePlus. This is a company that makes some quite interesting phones. So I thought uh, we should take a look at the 6T today. On the front side we have this 6.41 inch AMOLED display. It's uh, colorful and bright. And on the top side we have this uh, as we say, that notch that melts down over the screen. I really like this rounded shape that this has. And here do we also have the camera. This is a 16 megapixel selfie camera. They also managed to hide the speaker here. It's just a small slit above the camera notch. With the camera, you can also log in with face recognition. I must say this works pretty good. It's quite fast and accurate. But you also can log in with a fingerprint reader. And this is something we have under the screen now. And this is a technology that we just dreamt about not so long ago. And this works quite okay too. It's not as fast as a physical fingerprint reader, but it works quite well. You have to press a little bit longer and sometimes you maybe have to press two times as it doesn't recognize your fingerprint. But it's going to be interesting to see where this technology can be in the future. And as always, so do technology come and go. And here has to remove the headphone jack. So here do we have a USB-C port for our headphones and charging. And I really like that they have some really fast charging here. Something that we don't have is wireless charging. But this is for me not so a big deal as I'm not so fond of wireless charging as it's too slow. I like more of this fast charging so it can be fast up and running. But it is an interesting technology that we hopefully can get closer to wired charging time in the future. If we then take a look at storage, so do we here start at 128GB and 6GB of RAM, up to 256GB and 8GB of RAM. And this is good enough for most users out there today. Maybe if you're a really heavy photographer or like to save a lot of music, so can you maybe need a little bit more memory. But overall, so do I think this is good enough for most users today. And if we take a look at the other specs here, so do we have a Snapdragon 845, an Android 9.0 and Bluetooth 5.0. So the specs is really good. I'm really impressed that they have managed to push in all this, especially when you think of the price. This is a phone that costs almost half the price of the most expensive phones out there today. And in this way, so do I think that OnePlus sticks out a little bit here, as they managed to do a really good phone to a really good price. And I think they do this by manage to put the specification as high as they think they need and leaving out things that maybe not everybody needs like wireless charging. And by this way so can they have good specification to a good price. On the back so do we have the two cameras. Here do we have one 16 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization and one 20 megapixel camera and a flash. Here is the area where you can see that OnePlus have put them a little bit lower down on that specification list. Here do you not have a wide angle lens or a zoom lens. But overall so is the quality quite okay. It maybe lacks a little bit of that sharpness in the picture. But you have a lot of functionality in the camera. You can even record video up to 480 frames per second at 780p. When you're watching your videos, so do you here have a speaker? Yes, you only have one speaker, so no stereo speaker here. But the speaker delivers a good and clear sound. I'm also going to try to put up some sample pictures on my Twitter account and my Patreon page. Yes, I put up a Patreon page for you who want to support my work. I'm going to put up some pictures and maybe some even some video from behind the scenes. So for you who want to support me, can you find all the information below? But I think that's it guys, so uh, if you don't want to miss my upcoming reviews, don't forget to like and subscribe. But for now, over and out.